Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 20 of the Build Guide 2. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks so much all the support on the power station. Uh, you guys really enjoyed uh, our little vanilla build here, right? So lots of fun ideas to take away with these power station ideas. And uh, quite a lot of fun. So thank you for all the support. And we had a fantastic name suggestion <laughs> from uh, Jason Golden, of course, for the Fossil and Bone power station, which is represented by the... FAB on the side of the semiconductor plant. <laughs> so that was just absolutely amazing name. Great work, Jason. Despite the fact that you also fence police me as well in the episode because do you have some spikes facing into the facility? <laughs> Which is fine. We'll make it low. So thank you all the support, guys. Glad you enjoyed these little modular service intersections. It is still filling up with oil. Just ignore the trucks. They will eventually go away. But either way, welcome back to Walker Bay, everyone. I cannot stop playing this city. It's so much fun, isn't it? Just, uh, I'll tell you what I did notice earlier. Again, all the walking porn. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so good. And then we come down here as well uh, into uh, a really busy part of the city you now. All this around here is starting to get super busy. Look, this switch back. Uh, and there was something I noticed here. Um, is that we've got more people walking and cycling than we do driving in Orchid Bay. Um, which is fantastic, right? Absolutely what we want to see. Roads are so quiet. Just cyclists everywhere. So much fun to watch this switch back. <laughs> this is great. Uh, and by the way, we are episode 20 now, so the most recent public save file has now been updated to today's episode, so go and grab it down below if you want to. Now, uh, don't forget, if you want access to every save file, uh, then you become a patron as well. Link's down below. So the plan for today is to open this new tile. Uh, we're going to have this one right here. So we're going to purchase this. So we need to get what? eight and a half thousand population into this next tile before we start working on our downtown area over here and i just want to open this up because i want to work on a little sort of well i guess a further contribution to kind of what's happened over here right i want to start introducing towers a little bit of medium density as we begin to crawl up to the eventual skyline and, and something of a midtown here perhaps a bit of a legal quarter something a bit more upmarket not quite as commercially focused as the rest of our plazas over this area, this is a bit more serious. And uh, perhaps a little bit of snooty in here as well today. So, let's work on a little medium density midtown build today, shall we? Okay, so starting today's build, we moved the ferry depot down a little bit. I definitely need to find a more permanent home for this asset. And speaking of kind of water and riverfronts, um, as this area develops now where we've opened this tile, um, I'd like to start building, bringing in some of your ideas as to what happens along this riverfront, uh, which is eventually going to face into downtown Orchid Bay. So I'm thinking sort of convention centres, maybe a little sort of riverfront park, but I definitely want lots of your ideas um, as to what's going to sit looking into downtown Orchid Bay, so please get them down in the comments below. But either way, today's episode has to happen first, so we've got some new material frames to establish and bring in here. Uh, and for right now, I think I'm just going to start bringing everything off of this orientation, this road right here. So let's have a little look, see where we can uh, perhaps start to line up with some of this stuff going on over here. Let's go for about here, maybe. Cool. We'll have that in there. We can use that as a, a point to bring our trams down to. So what I am thinking here, again, is a bit more medium density like we had with our towers uh, over this side. So let's definitely start establishing that if we can. Now, again, a good point here would be from there, I think, right? That's going to line up with that one. And that should give us a nice sort of edge to our build there. Or maybe a little bit further down than that, I think. Let's go for here, All right? They're going to link up. Everyone's going to be happy. So definitely want some more high density here. I guess medium density is what I'm referring to here, isn't it? So certainly think that's something from the Skyscapers content creator pack is going to be welcome here again. Again, if you're missing this, link's down to Instant Gaming below. That all helps support the channel. And how about Von Pell House, right? How about we go for this? We leave all tiles between the road and the building. And then why don't we give this a pedestrian tram road? Let's go for something quite modern. Perhaps I can interest you in some bluestone. I think we can. There we go. And then let's grab some fancier grass road here as we come down the side of the tower. I think I'm... Pretty happy with that. I might want to even give it a touch more breathing room. We'll, we'll decide to come the end anyway. Uh, then why don't we give this a little uh, path border that's now snapped into the grid there. That's going to be pretty much in the middle. Then how about some little sort of collection of trees around the edge here? And then how does that allow us just to 
So what else would work nicely here? Why are we why are we here? Why let's not go for uh, one of these numbers, a little sort of fancy statue just out the front of the tower. So it has some sort of little landscape garden next to it. I don't think it's going to be the worst idea, is it? And how about that now as we sit along our road here? Okay, you definitely want to make something a bit more of a song and dance out of this road, don't we? Maybe a six lane or something a bit fancier. But I'm definitely on board with that, right? So what I'm thinking for this build is it's going to be something of a kind of a legal sector. Definitely don't want it to be as kind of commercially focused as the rest of these plazas over here, right? Where we've got the rest of our density. And same thing again with the transport hub, you know, I want sort of a little bit more serious vibes over here. But from all orientations, that tower is pretty splendid, isn't it? Not too bad. I think we possibly do with another one because we've kind of got them in sort of pairs, haven't we? There's pairs of towers everywhere, so if we can stick another one with this, then I think that would be welcome as well. Uh, let's now bring our frames around the rest of the build. Now we know where it's going to go. Um, and I do want to bring in the university stuff, because I've been sort of thinking about this build, and a lot of the vibes that I want really come from this stuff, and we're very nearly at the point where we need a university campus. Uh, and what we can do is now actually drag this campus area sort of in and around um, the rest of the downtown when we want to place assets everywhere. Uh, of course, we can do that now, which is going to be really helpful. Uh, so, of course, we will name uh, this plaza today uh, after one of our wonderful patrons. And we've actually got kind of the perfect name. We've got David Swank, one of our wonderful patrons. Thank you for all your support, David. And because I'm after, essentially, swanky vibes today, I think Swank Square is perfect, isn't it? So thank you for all your support, David. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you for being a patron. And uh, we're going to have this in. So, again, the main building here is going to be a tough one to blend in, but we like a challenge, don't we? So... Well, let's now trim back some of this road here and start bringing in uh, some initial holding frames because I would love to have the university administration building here to be centralised against the arterial road as the road actually breaks off into a one-way network around it is what I'm envisioning. We're also going to get some nice uh, network spices against here as well. Could definitely get a train station in here too, is not we? Uh, this isn't going to be passenger like This is all internal train line here. So I might actually add in another intercity stop along this way. I guess we'll see. We'll get there eventually. I was worried about this first. Uh, cool. So that's fine. Now I know that that's going to fit centrally. Um, I just want to bring in some border roads so I know I can split the one-way network here. Just just bear with me. <laughs> this, will, this will come together, I promise. All right. And now let's grab some one-way roads. Uh, we're going to want the ones with wide pavements so people don't park on them. And then I'm looking for a distance of 400. That's perfect. Nice 45 degree angle to split the one way system. Wonderful. We now want to draw across perhaps a fancier road. Let's go for just the regular grass one. And then this will hold my university administration building as part of Swank Square. So it's all part of the legal department here, okay? Sort of as to what's going on. I love that sight line. That's great. You know, we love to respect a sight line, don't we? This is definitely one that we can get on board with. Lots of detail available around here too. Uh, and then all these holding frames can now be split off and uh, broken into various directions. And then we can essentially just repeat uh, the same process around here now as that arterial road moves back up through this node and then into there. So now we can just move it that on the other side by hitting the guideline. And then the same 400 measurement. Everyone's going to be happy. That can go back in and then the holding frames can disappear. And then just one last check to make sure that everyone is in a one-way network and flowing in the directions that they should be. Cool, so that's going to essentially maintain our road hierarchy. We're still having two lanes flow into this area. It's now just split off around the side, which I think is going to be a fun way and definitely a different way to use the university main building for the area, I think. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad, is it? So this now gives us the wonderful world of using university assets essentially as repurposing them. So we've got the university study hall that could fit in here. We could also do it with the dorms as well. Now I wonder, could I get a dorm back to back there? No, it's not going to fit, is it? Oh, it's a tile out. <laughs> that, is, that is annoying. We can change that there if we wanted to. But then we also have the study hall as an option as well. So I'm just sort of looking to bring in lots of different legal looking buildings now municipal courts etc stuff like that 
Uh, we're actually looking at a very random town uh, called Columbus in Georgia for inspiration here, but you can kind of get a sense of positioning here, right? That's a really nice centralization against that tower too. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, let's continue to add in the vibe. So, of course, we do have the School of Law, which is a real big boy. So this one's a little bit kind of an older looking building. And again, if we just want to place it, it's going to want to be... Oh, that is a great waterfront building, isn't it? That is really cool. <laughs> can, we, can we refuse that? I don't think we can, can we? Just to have that as part of our waterfront, it's also going to serve as part of our medium density as well, isn't it? As we start crawling up here. To have that big blocky building over there. I think I'm happy with that. Um, I think, again, I want another tower. We did mention, didn't we? So let's see what we've got. Uh, marble center. Uh, it's a little bit girthy for what I'm after, really. And then these are all like the super talls over here, aren't they? Yeah, quite modern. Mm, no, I think it was something a little taller than that. How about Marshall Town? Is that too big? Do you get the chirp net on it there as well, don't we? That's cool. <laughs> yes, I like that one, I think. Yeah, can we get away with that? I think so. I really like the way that that plaza's developing over there now. That's really cool, isn't it? Very exciting indeed. I think definitely the, the river now wants to have its keys mimicked and we'll possibly have another ferry stop over this side as well. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let's grab our keys. I guess we want to run with the same key. I think sort of changing its mirror here might be a little strange. But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's snap into the road guidelines of the road that this is sitting against. So here should be okay. We're going to lose a little power line there. You're going to be all right. Although the ferries are... Oh, God. Tower boundaries are so annoying. <laughs> just the most irritating things. Right. Okay. Let's just have you run the same length as that one for right now. And obviously, we'll extend our uh, sort of key work into the midtown and downtown as that tower boundary opens up. But for right now, it does allow us to respect that view to the School of Law, doesn't it? And I think just because we have the option available to us... Uh, let's see if we can now have a ferry stop here as well. I don't think I want to centralise this against the School of Law. I kind of want that to be, the front of it to be open. I think just off to the right is actually the better shout there, isn't it? So let's, 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 let's do that. Uh, I'm actually also very interested to see just how many people will choo choose to use the ferries to get over here. Now, because the buses are also supporting them. The ferries just aren't that busy, which, which is fine. You know, they will get busier as they go further down. I realise we need to give this guy some water as well. Otherwise, our ferries won't come out at all. Cool. So maybe one day we'll get people getting off here. Not right now, of course. It's only just come in. Uh, and we do need a way to jump power across. Of course you do, of course. Oh, there we go. We do have a power line here. Tremendous. Uh, right, so let's not forget about our trams, because these guys do need to come down here as well. Uh, let's upgrade this road down here now. There's a bit of a kink in the road there, is there? Very, very small one. Let's just redraw this now. Now we know what's happening. And a little curve there should be fine. And then in terms of the tram line, so I've actually... Uh, when we put this in, this actually was pedestrian tram road, but we had a great comment to say that they travel much slower um, on the pedestrian roads here. So when they're travelling over this much of a distance, it makes sense for it to be tram track rather than elevated pedestrian road. Um, unless, unless, of course, you want the stops on it, which would make sense in that regard. Uh, but until I think we reach the plaza, I think we are just going to run with regular old uh, tram line. So let's bring this on a curve, hopefully with a guideline as well. And then I think we'll have it run like this. This, this might change in the end. I might decide we want it on the ground for a little bit longer but for right now it should be okay uh, i'm also envisioning a bit of a park here as well but this is going to be quite a tight squeeze to get that under isn't it uh which is fine because yeah, i want to sort of use these spaces for parkland have people walking around here i think it'd be quite nice so let's prepare that in advance i definitely want to get the trams flowing here again though so let's go for that one and then we'll have that as a road frame you can come up to your guideline and then hook back in and then we'll turn this into a park, basically. All this peninsula down here. Uh, and then probably some sort of housing here as well. Um, European suburbia, I imagine, around the train line. 
yeah, we'll definitely have some European suburbia out there too. So now let's turn our attention back towards the tram line as to where you're going to flow through the complex. Through here is actually looking quite promising, isn't it? I don't mind that at all, I don't think. And then if we can have this one run as pedestrian tram road as well. Again, eventually this tram road will run into downtown, but for right now, downtown doesn't exist, so it doesn't really have anywhere to go. But we can definitely extend this tram to run down this riverfront, which will make it a significantly long tram boy. It's going to be running all the way through these suburbs that we built a few episodes ago. And then all this to like come into fruition now. Back to this area as well, and then of course back to the uh, original transport hub. So we'll hopefully see that tram line get significantly busier as it starts to head into these uh, medium density areas over here. Wonderful. So let's add some stops onto it as well. Um, we're going to need to grab one of you. Let's go for... Yeah, let's have the stop right out front there so they're not crossing over each other. And then I'd also like you to stop in this node as well. Cool. Now that will give us the tram stops that we need. I'm really keen to see it stop along the waterfront. Got some nice space there, haven't we? Possibly a plaza to sit in there. Will one of the plazas and promenades one go? Maybe the fountain plaza? Oh, yes it will. With some room for a bench and path border as well. The reason I use university benches here is because it gives us um, bins and benches and lights already preset on the pathway. Uh, which is nice for just expanding the plaza space, I think. Uh, that's going to do a wonderful job, isn't it? Yes, please, everyone. Very happy with that. Chirpnet as well. You have to let me know what Chirpnet does in the city, everyone. I'll have to decide what sort of company this is. Okay, I missed the tram stopping, didn't I? <laughs> I got too distracted. There we go. And they will eventually stop here as well once they find their feet. But otherwise, for some initial building placements, that's pretty cute. I'm very happy with that. Has to be said. Okay, so Swank Square is slowly moving around now as people are getting on and off at the ferries and the trams and coming to the School of Law, which is great. Also, another point of convergence here as well, right? People can now move from ferry stop to the very original tram network over here, so that's good news. Someone died. It looks like that flat as well has stopped complaining of noise pollution, remember from last episode? And they seem to be okay now. It looks like spamming the live oaks has actually done them a favour, so that's good news. Although someone has died at these towers though, unfortunate. Cool, so I think what I do want to do um, is just to get access to maybe a few more of the fancy ones, like the gymnasium and the cafeteria. We're probably not going to get to library today. I just want to make sure that we can actually hit the campus attractiveness, because we, we immediately got the students, which is good. Uh, we'll also grant the, the academic work as well. Uh, but yes, so I think let's just go for... So this increases campus attractiveness. If we were to spam down a lot of groundskeeping, essentially. Does this help us reach level 2? I think it will. I think we're just going to do that. Of course, this isn't temporary. I just want that level 2 campus. And of course, it will continue to move up levels as we add larger, more important assets into our downtown as well, right? But uh, for right now, that should give me what I need. There we go. Wonderful. So just let that hit level 2. Uh, and then we can replace them for some other assets. So please ignore that for right now. Uh, but what I'd like to turn my attention toward now is actually the little uh, bit of European suburbia that's going to sit along here. So again, I'm after that sort of crawl up. Where essentially, once we look down at this lateral line here, you know, um, of the rivers, we're going to have low, like, low density here with all our housing. Then this medium density will start to appear. And then we'll climb into this high density. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing this sightline in particular with the eventual super crawl that we have from this angle. That should be really fun. Got all these people coming down the switchback as well. Oh, that is so much fun to watch, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Uh, we're we're going to have to start doing some first person walking tours around Orchid Bay soon, I think. And live streams as well. I can't wait to live stream the city to walk and hang out as well. See, the way I'm getting distracted, yes, so I want this road to essentially just run around the river. Cool, and then I want this arterial to now basically just run parallel with that train line for a, uh, a good distance. 
Now, I guess actually the train line is at our whim here, isn't it? So let's delete it, because I'd rather it be orientated with the arterial road than where Sid I placed it. So let's have it there. This, of course, will change and grow as things are built around it, but for right now it gives us that frame. And then in terms of a train station to get in here, we've probably content creator is going to be the best choice, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Very nearly lined up. <laughs> so close. So close. Uh, we're going to have to have a, a rail crossing here too, so we'll have to bear that in mind. Okay, I think we'll just go for that one. Uh, and then I will bring my uh, roads up to it. And then we can have this one connect in. And start to accept intercity trains here as well. And then we can factor that in to go basically wherever we want it to now. We can have that run all the way down. Possibly eventually actually crossing over the river and into the major downtown transport hub that will eventually have all these lines here fed into it. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this line yet, but we've got a lot of flexibility with it there. Uh, cool. Wonderful. So we'll hopefully start to see intercity trains arriving in there. Uh, and what this does allow me to now do is start bringing in uh, a little bit of road frame through here. I think we'll also have this come up to four lane as well uh, as we come back towards the arterial. So it's just a extension of that collector. I see what we want. I think we're going to go for the trees here, actually. Let's go for the tree ones. Uh, and then again, just thinking about how I want the suburb to look, I think I want to really maximise the zoning spaces. So let's give ourselves uh, a little bit of a sort of uh, park boundary, I guess, around the back of the station. Uh, let's just have this run through here and we'll keep that pathway going. This might be quite cool to see a pathway that is walkable alongside the rail line here eventually with bridges back and two over it. Uh, but we will have that there, but I'm essentially just going to use it as a bit of a sound barrier so we can have residential relatively close to it. And then we'll just use that forest boundary then as a sort of natural end as to where this particular suburbia will finish. Cool. Yeah, so again, we're going to give this a European suburbia specialization definitely. It's just got that nice realistic look that I'm after right now. And then give this European suburbia. Again, if you are missing the European suburbia pack, definitely one of the better residential ones to go and grab. Uh, all available down at Instant Gaming. Cool. Yeah, so again, just factoring in what we're going to have here. We're going to have trains coming through, which is going to make up a sort of big aesthetic of our suburb, isn't it? But, you know, this is... We've also got to pack in population here as well. You know, I need to make sure that we get um, 8,000 population within these nine tower radiuses now because we're... It's starting to fall behind a little bit with our population. We don't make sure we don't sort of build too small all the time. Otherwise, we're going to have problems in the late game trying to get in those last tiles. Uh, cool, so I think what I will do here is actually respect a little bit of um, symmetry with the boxes and do some sort of commercial park around here to help introduce the suburb. I don't think I'm uh, against immediately having a look at some of that stuff. So let's get some uh, commercial in here. I'm thinking just kind of a general sort of social hub, you know. So... Things like the food truck plazas from plazas would be welcome here. Maybe we have one in there. And then it looks like the small ice cream stand would actually work pretty well in there. Alongside a small fountain plaza. With a bit of commercial. And then commercial opposite the other side as well. And then we'll give it another park asset. Let's go for classic vanilla. Maybe a carousel to sit on the corner. And just redraw our commercial in there. As always, be careful with what comes in. Don't allow anything to ruin your vibe. So fast food and diners is absolutely the vibe I'm happy with here. Bookstores as well and whatnot. Cool. And then, yeah, let's just start getting all this zoned up now. I'm happy for lots of back-to-back -back housing to develop. Uh, again, don't zone too much too quickly. We don't want any significant death waves. And, of course, while we're bringing in a new population centre, so also check our services. Uh, so, um, elementary school... We are absolutely fine for... <laughs> Why is that so high? Why is the elementary school availability so massive? Is that because I placed down the high capacity one? Oh, they they store 1,500 kids. Goodness gracious. I didn't realise they were so big. Okay, that's why then. That's why it's like that. Oh, all this walking. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. There's not one bit of Orchid Bay that I don't stop and fawn at. All this as well now. People coming back and two from this area. Possibly an excuse to hook that in with a pedestrian road. We might as well, right? There you go. Just walk back into there, boys. No need to walk all the way around. I do need it hooked in for its services, though, which is why I have the road. It needs garbage and police, etc. 
Well, I guess they'd come down the pedestrian roads there, wouldn't they? Maybe it doesn't need the road then. I'm not sure, we'll have a look at that in a second. Lots of people using the ferries now though, which is good. The ferries finally starting to kick in. This is great as well, we'll hopefully see an intercity train for which you are allowed to accept intercities. Yes, there we go. We've also got people waiting here now as well to catch the intercity trains. And this whole little area is starting to come together, isn't it? All these people are going to be sat in the shadow of Swank Square as well. Tremendously exciting. <laughs> it's really cool. You boys alright? No water? There we go. Let's go some water. Cool, so that's kind of the suburb now. I'm going to let this suburb grow up, just keep slowly zoning it in so we don't suffer any horrific death waves. Uh, and then really just wait for Swank Square to level up. Uh, how long does it need now? It's going to hit... It's, well, it needs its academic works, doesn't it? Uh, so we might get that this year, actually. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This is an expensive school, though. It's because we've got the School of Law. 3,000 a week. <laughs> Jesus. That is an expensive building, the School of Law. How much are these towers as well? 240, 400. Hmm. Might need a part life cheese somewhere to justify all this. But either way, yes, we will be back once we hit level 2 and we can play with new assets and we'll see how the suburb is developing. So an intercity train has just arrived and dropped off a bunch of people. And I'm interested to see where most of them go. A few of them driving. A lot of them heading into the suburb, actually. Which is growing up now. It's turning up quite nicely around here, actually. Love the addition of a carousel. Park onto the back of a lot of commercial. That is a nice little combination of vanilla, that, isn't it? Very happy with that one. But either way, it's growing anyway, right? Coming up. Slowly coming together. Uh, so, the university has not hit level 2 yet. It's still waiting for another academic work, which it will achieve this year, of course. Just a waiting game. Uh, which we will add in some more assets, but one thing I want to do before we have a look at detailing the whole build today is adding in that park area that we looked at. So we'll go for park main gate, and again we'll push this out as well. We've also named the suburb Swank, so I think we'll go for Swank Park as well, right? We'll just have this whole peninsula be extremely swanky. Which is perfect time for David to become a patron, really, wasn't it? Thank you for the support, David. <laughs> and your name. It's worked out very well for this build. Cool. Right, so let's just give this a general impression of where I want to go. Um, so let's just bring you through here. Not like that, though. Um, and then I want to see if we can come under without disturbing the river too much. Again, it's going to take a, a bit of finagling. The bridge, the tram bridge is probably going to actually be getting in the way here, isn't it? So let's just get rid of it altogether. See, now I could do it, but it would involve me moving the bridge. And that means we lose the little humpback in it. And I really don't want to do that. Because I bet if I delete that bridge, I'm not going to be able to get it back like that. <laughs> Which is super annoying. But that's okay, though. That's okay. But we can still use this bit of land here. We're just going to have sort of the park essentially cross the road. Which I'm, I'm happy for. So we'll have that there. Um, am I bothered about having a side gate on this? I guess I am. I guess I'd like to probably charge people here, I imagine. So let's throw in those side gates on the park area now, and then we can just... Again, I don't really want like lots of infrastructure around here, like the park life plazas. I'm, I'm after just a pretty simple, rudimentary, just sort of green space park here, and I think possibly a touch of gazebe on the end, with a little bit of forest brush here now to clear the view. And probably some more refined tree placements down this end now. Just so this peninsula starts getting used. It's also going to open up that view as well to the towers from here, isn't it? Which I think I'm happy with. Yeah, I definitely want this space getting used. So I'm happy for a little Riverside Park to develop. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that hooked in as well, and then we'll bring the uh, tram line back down. And then we're probably ready to start detailing this thing up. And let's just decide that the tram one here is kind of proven to be a little bit... a bit more difficult than I'd initially anticipated. Uh, let's have a little... Little look what's going on. Let's cross over. Can we cross at a smaller height than that? Yes, we can. Which is great. And then I'm hoping with the road guideline snap now, you should be alright. Yeah, let's have this touch down now. And then this can go all the way through. We can possibly have another uh, tram stop here in the park, actually. I don't think that would be totally out of the question, would it? 
let's do that then. And then we can have another little pathway here. And there's going to be a ton of little detail opportunities that we can do uh, in this space over here, right? Yeah, lots of detail in there to be done. Uh, and you guys are going to need power. I did not think about that. <laughs> We're going to get power down to you. Maybe a bit of commercial. Am I against a bit of commercial? Just sort of lining the roads here and they approach into Swank Square. Need to rename Swank Park as well. Let's do that while we're here. There we go. Actually, should we combine that? Should we just go for Swark? There we go. Yeah, we'll go for Swank Park combination. Swark. Not bad, right? It's growing up, isn't it? Was that oh god, that bridge wants sorting out though. <laughs> well definitely. We'll have to get rid of that bump. That's a bit hideous, isn't it? But either way, I'm really liking the way this is piecing together. It's just a case now of sort of detailing it all up. We've got to fill out some suburbia here. Ignore any horrific assets that come in like that. That is not allowed. Get rid of that one. Uh, and then just wait for the university to hit level 2 so we can throw another asset in here. And then we're just going to sort of essentially round that off. Uh, lots of tree patterns now in detail to help bring our little sort of municipal legal court together. And then detail the suburb. Lots of fencing and trees. And then we should have another little detailed medium density plaza here. I absolutely love putting these things together. So we'll see how it works out. But either way, we will be right back.
have a little detailing view, shall we? So I thought we'd also update the view from the top of Mad Mountain as well. We're only coming along now, isn't it? With all these sight lines down to Oka Bay, of course, Karen that we did a few episodes ago. But uh, either way, let's fly over to the new build. So we'll start at the bridge, uh, where we have actually extended a new cycle highway down. Uh, this one here now pretty much converges with this main one, which is the couplet one, through the main city. So that's going to be uh, some nice cycle convergence as well. As we come over the bridge, uh, we arrive at some nice tree-lined and fence-lined roads, where we have a nice overgrown riverbank here now as well. Alongside some people enjoying the park space and also a number of props. If anyone's ever been to Hyde Park in London, you will notice that there's some sun loungers knocking about in the park where people will charge you like £5 a minute to sit on them. It's kind of the vibe we're going for here, so there is a couple of sun loungers knocking around. And then we'll come through the park space itself and into the area where we have some park props and a little bit of detail in here just to help expand that tram station just so it's not sat here at all on its own with some benches and pergolas outside. With more benches scattered through against a pretty overgrown uh, riverbank here uh, against this area just to help detail up a little bit i love all those networks now uh, crossing over the water and uh, then some choice uh, commercial zoning or office zoning in here actually sorry not commercial to uh, complement the uh, sort of legal plaza here now right and we've got a great sight line down to our university building just love these two new towers. I love combining these skyscraper content creator things together to create these sort of medium density plazas. And as we cross over the other side of the road, we have upgraded to six lane, cycle lane and lindens for the main road. And then also waited for a little art deco pattern of level ones to come in. Uh, these don't take too long, thankfully. And uh, just to serve as a little condo complex, I thought that was pretty cute for vanilla. And it just helps fill a pretty awkward space where we wanted to add in uh, some of that high density residential. Coming under the river, the European Suburbia Suburb is now pretty much complete. It just it helps to fill out this space nicely and gives us the outer line Suburbia, where the cycle highway also extends down into here now as well, so people can cycle back up and into town without having to drive, of course. And then we'll merge back onto our little commercial area with all our plazas and detail. And this is just a cute little sort of social hub for the neighbourhood. I'm pretty happy with this. Then we cross back over onto the main street where we have a bunch of high-density commercial including some high density residential along the waterfront as well, just to help fill in some blocks so we had some people working and living here as well. And, you know, just picked and choose my assets so it's nice and even, different pops and height here, I'm pretty happy with it. And then we arrive into the university campus itself, which has had its cafeteria building place now and its library as well, I think it is. Uh, this is the cafeteria one over on the corner next to a post office and a med clinic to help serve the suburb too. And then some uh, tasteful uh, office zone in here as well to sit as part of the campus itself. Which now has another pedestrian road linking through here. Did also change this back to uh, actual road as well. I added in a connection into the one way loop which has also been upgraded into three lanes now. Because it's coming out of uh, six lanes here of course as uh, things get a little busier. But again you know just so smooth. <laughs> it's just so... So much fun to watch. I'm absolutely in love with this city. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, not to toot my own horn. Um, and then we come down here right onto this tram road. Where we ride back at our plaza space with a walking pathway that's taking people uh, back and to across the river. Which is crazy, crazy busy. Nice to see this in use. Um, and there's a ton of people also using the ferries as well. Less so since I installed the uh, pathway back over here. But at least it is getting used which is nice to see. So there's plenty of people also arriving by intercity trains here too. And then choosing to actually walk down and get the ferries, which is nice. So lots of public transport convergence is really paying off. And then I just love the towers, right? I love the way that these sit within the campus with the school of law against the waterfront. And we've just got this new little sort of medium density plaza now that's going to sit on the outskirts of our eventual major skyline uh, for downtown Orchid Bay to help fill the rest of this space. And we filled a pretty big space today, actually. Uh, look at that expansion, right? I love the way all the little networks that you can track in Orchid Bay. It's uh, very satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> very satisfying to watch. But super happy with this build. Anyway, it's turned into a really nice sort of medium density expansion again. Otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, likes, comments and shares below really do help out my channel. Even as much as you if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really happy with today's build and again, a nice sort of creative use of the campus DLC without having to create these huge sprawling campuses and integrate some pretty nice legal looking buildings into what is a very sort of legal and perhaps administrative part of town. Definitely not as commercially focused here as we have been on the other side of the river. So it's also nice to bring in some different vibes into our plaza spaces as well when we can. 
And of course, it's always nice sort of slowly crawling along this riverfront now, adding in different builds along it as we go. And uh, yeah, just love it. Love building this map. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it as well. Thank you for all the comments, all the love and support. It means the world to me that you guys are enjoying this. I think more than me. <laughs> Some of you guys are really enjoying this series, so thank you so much. It means the world to me. Please do keep leaving those comments. But otherwise, please do enjoy your cinematics. So we'll shut up and leave it there. And just thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.